Steve Fawcett was a skilled pilot who broke more than 100 aviation records around the world. But he crashed flying his airplane in the Sierra Nevada mountains, a place he knew like the back of his hand. After a five-month investigation, the National Transportation Safety Board concludes that a downdraft was responsible for Steve Fawcett's otherwise inexplicable loss of control. Scientists at the Windy Dome, the world's first hexagonal wind tunnel facility, usually study the effects of wind on fixed structures like buildings and bridges. But today we're doing something a little unique. Uh, we're using facility in a way that we never envisioned before. Andrew Mathers and his team have rigged up a replica of Steve Fawcett's plane inside the wind tunnel. It's a remote controlled aircraft. It's actually 1 8 scale. Uh, it has almost the same physical properties as the Super Decathlon that Steve Fawcett was flying at the time. Uh, it has very similar uh, scale model wingspan length. Uh, it's a high wing design, so the fuselage is hung underneath, so that gives it similar center of gravity, uh, similar flying properties, uh, as well as a single prop aircraft with the almost identical power to weight ratio. They have studied the meteorological records to recreate the precise wind speed and direction in the region where Steve Fawcett lost his life. Okay, fans got up to 50%. With 106 fans, each individually controlled, the team are hoping to reproduce the effects of the invisible and unpredictable downdrafts that researchers now think make the Nevada Triangle so deadly. We're configuring our fans to achieve the flow that we wanted, which was a combination of forward flow as well as down wash. Uh, so we're using different combinations of fans to achieve what we want to. Uh, we're going to try today to use smoke within the airflow to actually visualize what's happening. The model aircraft is being flown by a member of the facility to prevent the airplane from crashing. It is held loosely in position by restraining wires. The remote pilot is having no problems flying through headwinds, modified to approximate the conditions Steve Fawcett had been flying in. Suddenly, there's trouble when a powerful wind starts battering the airplane and the pilot loses control. We can certainly see in this particular experiment that the plane was not able to overcome downward velocity. Uh, so even though we had a uh, pilot operating the controls and trying to keep the plane aloft, uh, using as much climb rate as possible, uh, it was still not able to overcome and was still uh, dropping in altitude. By slowing down the footage, we see how the plane engine isn't powerful enough to overcome the wind, forcing it towards the ground. The forces recreated here are no greater than those possibly faced by Steve Fawcett. Steve Fawcett was no stranger to these downdrafts, but on that particular day, he was flying too low and too close to the mountains, and that was a deadly miscalculation. 